Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm doing a get ready with me going out video. It is currently 9 o'clock and I just got ready and I have some friends over. We are getting ready to go out. Grab a drink, glass of wine, beer, water bottle of vodka. I'm gonna have some water. The lighting is sh and you know the quality is super questionable but that's my channel. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe, follow my Instagram and I'm gonna stop talking and I'll see you in the video. Hey, what's up? Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you what products I'm using. I'm using the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I also sound like a man because I'm getting over a cold. I'm mixing in the Dior Luminizer. This drops something. I'm gonna mix those in with my foundation. I don't get why people put it on the back of your hand. I feel like that wastes so much product, but I'm here to judge, so you guys do you. And apply this all over my face. I love um, how dewy the drops make my skin. Give my face a little more tan. Anyways, I'm obsessed with this tinted moisturizer. So, we'll concealer next. I go underneath the eyes and then on all my freaking problem areas. I was doing so good and I didn't pick any of my pimples for like over a week and then today. Oh, I just went absolutely ham on my entire face, so do as I say, not as I do. I'm just going to blend this in with my fingers. Sometimes I use a beauty blender if I'm feeling super professional, and most of the time I don't. I'm obsessed with this concealer as well. I honestly don't think I'll ever buy another one. It's a Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like I'm in such a rush. Why? The Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer Stick. I love for summer. It also, my tan is fading or something. I'll rub this in with my foundation just to darken it up because I don't know if you can tell, but like my shoulder compared to my face. I just always like to have some sort of like darker product that I can use to fix my foundation when it's not cooperating. So again, I'm just gonna blend this in with my hands. I like to kind of take it like where I would get sun naturally. This stuff blends so easily. I'm going to apply a little bit of blush and sticking with the cream trend, I'm going to use the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. Now I'm going to go in with some setting powder. I love the MAC Studio Fix Powder. It's super buildable, so if you want to use this as like a powder foundation, you honestly can. I like to just take it lightly and set everything with it. So that's so what I'm gonna do. Because it's hot outside and I'm a little sweaty, I'm gonna put on some of this airspun loose face powder. I'm gonna get it at Walmart and I'm just gonna do the T zone. Then I'm gonna go with just a little powder bronzer. I'm using the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. And I actually like this better as like a contour. It's pretty um, cool tone to be a bronzer. Okay, then I'm gonna go with some blush. Songbird by Becca. Just go to Sephora and buy it because this is the best blush. Love blush, so I put it everywhere. Little highlighter, I actually kind of hate highlighter because people who put it on and don't know how and have like white streaks on their faces. We're just gonna do a little. And I'm using the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in 003. This is gorgeous, but just like a touch and not super crazy. And I'm also going to take that and just put it on my brow bone. Go ahead and do my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Brow Powder and Brush. And this duo is like incomparable. But I also do something a little different. I have a whole routine on this, so I'll link that down below. But I'm going to do that and come right back okay so now i have some eyebrows on i like don't leave the house without my eyebrows so my addition to my brow routine has been the dior show all day brow ink and this just sets my eyebrows and adds a little bit of tint you could totally use this on its own if you have better eyebrows than i do but mine just need a little bit of shaping but i will just run this through the ends of my brows mostly make sure it's looking right then we'll move on to eye this dior show cooling stick and it's just like a gold color and i like it because it doesn't tug at your eyes and it feels cold when you put it on and then I'm just going to go with my finger and the same Dior highlighter because honestly I just prefer this and do this all the time. It's like the prettiest lid shades anyways, so 
or my eyeshadow palette, so burb. Okay, so then with my Jaclyn Hill palette, but you could honestly use a bronzer for this step. I'm going to use one of these just matte orangey brown shades. I mix them a lot and I just take them on a fluffy brush and run that through my crease. Go in with just a little bit of like a darker shade still in the warm tone and pop that in the outer corners. Okay at this point the lighting has gone to complete. Um, people are in my apartment. It's okay though. Everyone just calm. I already put some on, but I'm quite certain that I stopped recording, so just to the outer lash line For the sake of like honestly lighting. I'm gonna do my lips now. I'm using Honey Love by Mac I'm taking this Dior lipstick in 627 rising star and it's kind of like a um, Darker shade, but it has some cool shimmers in it and then I'm topping that with the buxom lip gloss in Serena, which I have literally used up. I haven't even had this for that long, but it's the best looking lip gloss in the world, and it's always sold out, so. It's mascara, see you soon, maybe. This is the finished look. Quality shot. Yeah, this is the fit tonight. Adidas sweatpants. Let's take a look in my closet. Fucking driving me nuts, why doesn't it focus right away? Look in my closet, and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Everyone's making fun of my outfit. Focus, please, excuse me, thank you. Top is from Topshop, my jeans are from Urban Outfitters, and my shoes, sorry, this is Katie's room <laughs> again. My shoes are um, Forever 21. This is the outfit, and I'm probably gonna put on a purse, but um, whatever, everyone needs to calm down. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry, I'm crazy and weird and um, sound like a man. So, see you guys next time.